got Bowser versus Duck Hunt. Uh -huh, I'm not sure what Bowser is going to be able to tough guy through. Uh, but I don't know if you'll be able to tough guy much. I think down B. I don't think down B. I think that might have too high of a knockback. Yeah. I know rapid jab. Definitely not. Alright, it looks like Bagel's just setting up the wall of projectiles that Hunt's usually play. Mm -hmm. um, Bowser are going to be trying to jump over everything. Um, probably landing with near to combo start, but... Sorry. Just going to be a lot of chase... Oh, there's Tough Guy coming out. Yeah, just going to be a lot of chasing. Bagel's doing a really good job of just running away and crossing up whenever he needs to. Oh, that's a bad situation for Duck Hunt, but he gets out of it. Bowser is still keeping this close, because Bowser is going to kill Duck Hunt a lot sooner than the other way around. Oh, yeah, ba D Duck Hunt probably could just die to a uh, good hard read. At oh, that might have killed Now on these early side bees that have no chance of killing, I like to see Bowser try to land on the platforms because that deals less knockback but more damage. So just rack up some damage faster. I didn't know that it had a different property. Oh, F tilt catching the neutral getup. Good initial snap there from Bagel, but just the second F tilt catching it. And Bowser's still got some some longevity on him. Still a few hits until he's anywhere near dead. Ooh, Ooh, nice to little. get a grab confirm from the uh, flying gunman. All right, Duck Hunt's got the uh, the Duck Hunt problem where he can't really kill. Mm -hmm. Now and that he's out of confirm range. And now Bowser's in Bowser range where <laughs> he will kill you in like two or three hits. There's that side B landing on the platform and Duck Hunt right now is at kill percentage. I think even a fair will take it if Bagel oh. stays on the edge of the stage as he is. Yeah, Tipper Fair will definitely take it at ledge. Bagel's really, really just trying to force the Bowser to be a, in a bad spot. Can still not gonna take it. I had lightning, but Bowser barely even made it off the screen. That up here is gonna take it though. Oh yeah. Uh, what Bagel needs to do more is catch landings uh, because he's forcing Bowser to jump, but then he's not doing anything off of it. Bagel gets away with uh, another neutral getup. Oh, that side B almost taking it. Almost taking it. Ooh, that up air was real close. Ooh, yeah, fair. Fair takes it. it. So now a nearly full stock lead here for Bowser. He's gonna want to look to take this without losing another one, give his team a nice early lead. And you can see at these low percents, he is really trying for that up out of shield. I think Bagel meant to do a RAR bear, but he just back here the other direction. Not sure, I think he might be under a little bit of pressure, but he's getting some damage on Bowser right now, but the hard part is killing him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, high landing for Bowser. Small punish from Bagel. And he's currently playing with just no can out. I wonder if he's seen something that can is just not helping. I think he's trying to figure out a way to make Bowser approach without being in a situation where he's under lag. Mm -hmm. And if Bowser wants to get a good lead, he's got to close the stock out fast because Bagel's looking like he's figuring something out. As I say that, he blows himself up with a can. Oh, that down air was really, really risky, but it could have killed him right there. Mm -hmm. Both Bowser will kill if he gets a hit. But, oh, that can. That was a nice little trick by Bagel. Just didn't quite pan out. The fair's that gonna, bear's take, gonna it. take it. 
Uh, University of Buffalo, that Bowser just taking, doing its job and living forever and then killing really quickly. Nice early two stock lead, putting U of R behind the eight ball real early. Looks like Duel is coming in for U of R. Alright. I'm not familiar with Duel. Who's he play? Uh, I'm not sure. His profile picture is an inkling, but I doubt that because that character is hard and not fun. Ah, yeah, that's important. Ah, uh, we're running the latest patch. I wonder why we still pick 99 minutes when the infinite option is right there. <laughs> um. Oh, like timer how, purposes? Well, yeah, I guess there's the time to each set, or for each person. Uh, and we're seeing the Rosa come out from Duel. Oh. Ooh. I don't... Rosa's fun. I don't know against Bowser, because Bowser's got a lot of meaty hits that are just going to launch Luma away. But Rosa will sit, like do like 30% with the Rosa hit and the Luma hit each time. So, and Rosa kills incredibly early with Luma. Down air kills at like 60 at ledge. It's disgusting. So I'm seeing some questions in chat about where this is. We're in Holiday Inn. Is this a Holiday Inn Express or just a Holiday Inn? Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn in downtown Rochester. And if you are thinking about coming for singles, singles start at 3 p.m. Alright, what's the counter pick for U of R gonna be? Oh, ran Omega Ran. Omega FD. Random. FD. Eesh. Or um, Glory Classic. Just make sure that you don't get a 2D stage. Just make sure you don't get a 2D stage. It's still like a. Well, it, it's gonna be fine because. And also because legal randoms probably on, we're just gonna get the Omega stage of some legal stage. Ah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get the. Oh yeah, the timer helps with countdown. All right, and that was started. some form of countdown. Ooh, down throw up smash. Already seeing a little bit of Luma desyncs from. Uh, cool. I wonder if Bowser can tough guy that. I think he might Obviously. tough guy Rosa's, but not Luma's. Luma just barely dying from that side B. And now's the time for Bowser to get in there and get some gravy. Oh, yeah. Tough guys do Rosa's jab. Oh, Luma. Gets Luma out of there the moment Luma's back. And now it's an even game. Bowser's in kill range. Uh, for Rosa, against Rosa. Oh, the Luma's out. And F smash. And so is Bowser. Ooh, 18 off that back air. 
That was probably the weak hit of back here from Rosa. I just noticed uh, attack cancelling is what's getting dual all these desyncs. Ah. Ooh, that going for that two frame that would have that might have killed. The duel has completely lapped FF here. Oh, is this gonna be? Oh, I thought he was gonna go for grab release up smash. Ooh, tries to catch roll with F smash. That Bowser. Right. And Bowser needs to close this talk out now. Luma's gone. This is his best chance to go in. All right, he's kind of fishing for a kill. Is that gonna and take that it? will do it. That will take it. All right. They have taken one stock off of Duel. Ooh. Duel's just trying to dance around him and force a bad option. And Duel's definitely looking to close this out before losing his next stock. Oh yeah, Duel's just looking for any strong hit to connect. Ooh. Down smash trying to catch a bad tech. Down there taking care of Luma, but Bowser is eating a lot of damage for it. Back throw here gonna take it? No. No. And Luma's back now, so Bowser's got a lot to be scared of. Oh! Rolls Luma. right into that Luma up smash. Good on duel. Closing the deficit by his stock. Unfortunately, he was he still lost a stock that game when yeah. Bowser was in kill percent. But he's certainly keeping his team in it. I wonder who University of Buffalo is going to send in. I know they have an Incineroar and a Mario. I don't know the other two players. Who's the Mario? Kaba Yeezy. Mm. I, he's up, uh, we're 2-1 in sets, up one on him, but every set we've had was last hit. So. Now, seeing that it's a Rosa, I'd imagine they'd want to counter pick to a um, a large stage mm -hmm. because Rosa. I feel like Rosa in this game it excels at the mid range and being able to sit away from the mid range from Rosa helps them fighting the matchup. But also, a small stage might just be better because she's so lightweight that she can die super early. I mean, I see the advantages and disadvantages of both ones because a small stage is normally what I'd opt for against Rosa, but Duel's Rosa has been very good at kicking up, picking up these early stocks. So you, it all comes down to preference. I feel. All right. I wonder who this person. And so if his tag is anything to go by, we have JMF coming in. They're going to Kalos. They've opted for the big stage. So I wonder if he's going to be playing a lightweight character like BG. No. This could be interesting. This, this will be very interesting to see how Duel will use Gravitational Pull to deal with Simon. Alright, uh, Duel has to SD. All right, bit of a better countdown that time. <laughs> and Duel was real quick to get rid of that cross, but... I feel like taking away cross is more important than taking away the other projectiles, because oh, yeah. cross covers so much space. But we've been seeing JMF walling out um, Duel with some F tilts, but now that Duel's gotten in, he's been able to put up a ton of pressure. 
And Luma's dead, so it's his time to go in, but Belmonts don't really go in. Ooh, and that ooh, down the down air down. takes it. Beat down air taking it. Alright, JMF trying to just keep him out with that tilt sand. Do the Belmont zoning game, but. Ooh, that could have been really bad. Yeah. Looks like U of V is having a little bit of trouble getting around this Rosa. Although, as I say that, JMF is figuring it out just a little bit. Because this Rosa is looking real close to dead. Air traded with Axe. What? Ooh, that's gonna be big That's damage. some needy damage. Oh, tries to get uh, Luma desync to hit him off ledge. Oh my god. Oh, but Luma's about him. getting comboed right now. And JMF finally making up the lead that he initially lost. Oh that, no. If he would have had some stronger reaction on that holy fire, that would have been game. Forward throw gonna take it? Not quite. Not quite. I'm surprised that Ooh. Ooh. Luma keeps Axe alive. And keeps Rosa dead. And I feel that's the most excited anybody's gotten for uh, Belmont Axe Kill in a long while. So U of B has their initial lead back, being up two stocks. And coming up we have, I believe, Napkin. From what I know, he's a Mewtwo player. So it's going to be another character that can not only negate Belmont projectiles, but can also send them right back at them. However, from what I know about how Napkin plays, I wonder how well he's going to do in this matchup because he likes to do a lot of bear spacing, and that's going to be... Oh man. <laughs> Jake. And I don't know how that bear spacing is going to fare against Belmont, who's got a bigger bear and fair to space. As far as stage goes, it's U of R's counter pick, and they're probably going to want something small to not let Belmont set up. But I don't know how small they want to go because I know Yoshi's Island has good and bad for Belmont. And so we're going to see one SD from JMF. So they decided to go to Battlefield. Nearly had a small debacle there, but everything's good. Yeah. <laughs> I 
And if there was not an SD at the beginning, I wouldn't be able to tell if this was a button check or not. But now we've got a bit of a match going, and Napkin's doing some sauce. Gets the Nair, very quick stock from Napkin. Looking to get his team back in this with a... I, I wanted to see two quick ones. And JMF just does not know what to do against this Mewtwo. He is just trying for anything and everything. Ooh, gets his jump. 7% on the game. Two stocks from Napkin. Big plays from him. Damn, he really just takes the setup Joy Cons, does he? And coming in, we from UB we have MRW. Very surprising to see them send him in so quick. I expected him to be some form of an anchor because left in U of R we have Napkin with three stocks, Guitar Lord with three stocks, and Glazed with three stocks. Using MRW this early might be good, might be bad, because I imagine MRW has experience against both Glazed and Guitar Lord. But I feel he really needs to make a three stock happen here for this pick to pay off. But we'll be seeing Incineroar and Mewtwo, and Incineroar is going to be taking some quick stocks from Mewtwo if all everything goes according to plan. U of R is putting all their faith in Napkin right now. Very happy to see how he's performing. And MRW getting that quick sauce. But Napkin not afraid to press buttons on Incineroar. But he's got to watch out for that side B. And I know Napkin loves his teleport on stage. Got away with it that time, but I don't think MRW is going to let him get away with that too much. And side B already taking the stock. MRW letting the taunt out. Interesting combo. That is one thing Napkin will have in this matchup is some of his moves just can't be shield grabbed against uh just can't be shield grabbed by Incineroar so he's a little safe to touch Incineroar's shield but MRW is looking to close out this second stock F tilt taking it Napkin knew he had to spend that shadow ball but got a little too uh got a little too antsy to use it And MRW is looking for that three stock that I mentioned. Ooh, that side, that back throw is gonna take it. And so Napkin takes the third stock, thankfully breaking even on coming in, not getting three stocked. And he seems to be figuring things out a little bit, but Incineroar is gonna kill him a lot faster than he's gonna kill Incineroar. So he's just gotta keep this momentum going, and that he is. Ooh, you can see him. He's looking for that disable. Incineroar off stage. Big edge guarding situation. That up smash takes it. Momentum switching completely in Napkin's favor. And, and he's he's looking to get six stocks. MRW just opts to keep him off stage. Resets neutral for the first time in about two stocks. And MRW's looking to be, looks like he's regaining some control here. As I say that, he does something of a risky up B on stage. Edge guard situation, sends Incineroar under the stage, but he still makes it back. This back throw might take it. Yeah, Incineroar back throw, very strong. MRW just barely squeaking out with his life. Very good showing by Napkin, taking five stocks overall. 
Two of them being MRW stocks. Very good. For U of R. Um, Napkin popped off. Took four stocks total. Two of them being MRW stocks. Okay. Yeah. Um, and took out JMW taking 7% overall. Damn. So now we have Glazed coming up. Most likely we're going to be seeing... I'm not going to say most likely. This dude plays like 10 characters. He's going to play Greninja. Probably Greninja. He's going to play Greninja. I'm giving it like 10% for Cloud. Okay, Greninja. He he's going to play Greninja. And so right now, Glazed's goal is to just take this stock without losing one of his. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone forget. Everyone's forgetting. And U of R is very excited. Just exerting a lot of energy. U of R has, um... Glazed and uh, Guitar Lord in the back. Oh, down tilt force smash. Is that dead? That might that. Oh no, he saves. His MRW saves his jump. Has a chance to get, to get some damage back here. Uh, Glazed is such an aggressive powerhouse. Oh yeah. But aside, I'm not sure how MRW is going to be able to deal with the um, constant game of poking and running back and forth. But. He's tacking on the percent, and Incineroar still kills super early. Ooh, ooh looks for the side B. Blaze rolls through it. Gets the F smash. That Alolan Whip would have taken the stock, but he missed, he missed the read. Alright, so now we're going to have uh, Glazed and Kaba Yeezy. Greninja Mario, probably. Six stocks to six here. Both teams with two full players left. Glazed and Guitar Lord for U of R and Baba or Papa? Kaba. Kaba. Hmm? Four, four villain? This is four villain? Or. Oh. So, villain, if you're watching. Apparently this is for you. This is for you. And Ooh, do we know who U of R's last player is? Guitar Lord. Oh, sorry. <laughs> U of B's last player. Uh, I don't know if he's tagged or who he plays, so... Alright, Greninja Mario. Uh, I do not know what this is like at all. I feel Mario can do to Greninja what Greninja does to a lot of people, which is just kind of poke and run away. Because Mario can do a lot of that run past up air. And if he gets something, he has the time to react and just do something. And if he doesn't get something, he's already behind you. Although Greninja might be able to bear it out of shield, so we're going to see a lot of poking. Down air into bear. Ooh, gets the combo extender on the Ooh, top of Smash. The touch with Smash. Ar Kabe Yeezy's already doing a great job of putting on the pressure. And you can see just right now he's he's scouting out Glaze. He's looking to find his tendencies just to get a, a, an early stock later on. So it's going to be on Glaze to, to not be predictable and not do the same things over. Glaze finally getting the hit. But still heavily in Cobb's favor right now. Yeah, Playing Blazed a very just, defensive Mario. Blazed is just trying to find a way to get in. But every time he does, he's only getting on maybe 10 or 15%. 15. Down tilt into up air, getting just a little bit. 
Ooh, tries to catch a fade away with the shadow sneak. That would have. And stocks are closed, and you can see Glazed is going for that down tilt up smash. So it's on Kappa to be very mindful to just not let any down tilts happen. They're both just poking at each other, trying to force bad options. Kappa easy getting a little hasty with an up smash, though. Hmm, bad reaction, unfortunately. Off stage situation there, but Glazed got a little antsy on it. Tried to get a counter combo. Guess he wanted counter into downbeat. Uh, I think counter might have actually killed there, uh, assuming that Mario's up B clipped through the stage. Down smash, just barely missing the punish there. I also realize both these characters have water, so that's a little interesting. Oh, that is gonna take that's it. That's gonna take the stop. However, Mario's at kill percent. Mm -hmm. But he could take this right back. And he's just a little bit out of that range of frame traps so while he is at kill percentage if glazed only goes for his frame traps Kaba might be living for quite some time and um, you can see he's already racking up percentage on this stock just catching those landing air dodges I glazed air dodged every time mm -hmm. and that's what I was saying about having those tendencies he's looking for him and glazed just had to pay in a stock with that down tilt forward you're gonna take the stock there. U of R is trying to get Blazed back in the game, but Kaba is not letting any of it happen. When Glazed does take a stock, he does get a lot of momentum. But oh, there's that fair! Kaba easy, catching the double jump. He went for it earlier on the first stock, but didn't get it, but he got it that time. Mm -hmm. And there's those tendencies being learned. Right, I'm not sure if you've heard what about Mario against anything with a sword. Not the best. Not the best, but I'm not sure if we're going to be seeing Pac-Man come out from Guitar Lord or me side for or me sword, sword Fighter. So Guitar Lord, the anchor of U of R, needs to take five stocks here. We have any update on any of the other I wonder what stage Guitar Lord's gonna pick. Oh, Town and City. Now, I think this might mean he's playing Pac Man. Oh, no, straight to me, Sword Fighter. Mario! Kaba forced to stick with Mario. I think well, he, ha he has sides. to. Alright, we got the uh, wedding outfit this time. Nobody wants to give them a countdown, someone just yelled go, and that works for them, I guess. <laughs> and bad news for Guitar Lord, but Fireball just beats Chakram, so that means one of his main tools to force approaches is a lot less effective. Chakram is still really fast and really strong, 
you just won't be able to use slow chakra to trap approaches as effectively. You can see uh, Kaba's catching those landing dares. Guitar Lord right now doing good for himself, just racking on the percentage. Just waiting for something unsafe from Kaba. Another thing uh, Guitar Lord's going to be doing is trying to force Cape with Tornado. And when he gets a reflected Tornado, um, it, it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. But Kaba's still staying in this, doing a lot of brawling here. Yeah, Kaba's been able to do a really good job of tacking on percent. And Guitar Lord's certainly at kill percent for F Smash, although I doubt Kaba's going to find the time to land that. I don't know. I mean, it's really fast, and it catches landings, catches getups. Looking for, um... Oh! Ooh, catches him with the Chakra. What a trap. Now it's going to be big if Guitar Lord can somehow manage to finish this stock without losing one of his own. But he's certainly moving around like he's gonna. I'd just like to say that down throw hero spin at ledge might kill. Yeah. Probably with the amount of rage Guitar Lord has. Guitar Lord's just forcing bad options now. And you can see Cobb is a little hungry to close out this stock if he keeps playing. He's kind of forcing himself to play slower, but if he keeps playing risky like this, Guitar Lord's just gonna eat it up. And you can see Cobb is trying to find the time for the parries on the tornado just so he can get in a little quicker, but he's just having no luck. And he's he starts looking to uh, deal with Chakram at a better rate than he is, because right now he's just shielding it, and then he's getting outzoned. Oh yeah. Ooh, that, that was a risky roll in by Guitar Lord. If Kaba saw it, that was a back throw to death. Uh -huh. At the percentage he was at, and Mario back throw, I'd say definitely. Okay. Ooh, but that Ooh. Mm. tornado hitting just a little too early. Kaba closes out the stock. Alright, Guitar Lord just needs one strong hit now. But he's going to be playing... Uh, hopefully reserved for his team, but he still has to force an approach now. Now something of note is that Kaba has not been able to get in at all like he was against Blaze. Mm, Hero's be been out of shield, takes it. Alright, Guitar Lord now has to take three stocks with his two. Um, he's a very patient player, so... I definitely think this is in the realm of possibilities, Absolutely. especially with me Sword Fighter's damage output and early kill potential. Also, being an oppressive zoner. <laughs> uh, the question is, what character we're gonna see out of University of Buffalo? Now, was that four stocks taken by Kaba? Yes, four stocks. Taken. Yeah, four. <laughs> Good join by him. Gave his teammate a nice boost. Coming into this match. Alright, we're gonna see Battlefield, Battlefield Final FD. Destination. <laughs> the most cursed stage in the game. All right, DDD, 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 me Sword Fighter. Um, I'm not sure how Guitar Lord feels about this matchup. Uh, he's definitely fought Riley a couple times, so he might have the experience. But also, every DDD is different. There's our countdown for the last match, and already the tornado comes out right away. I imagine this is going to be a little rough. Oh, wrong controls. Yeah, wrong controls. Oh, contest. <laughs> However, I imagine this matchup is going to be a little rough for D to D because I th think both Chakram and Tornado are going to beat Gordo. So um, I don't. I mean, they do. The thing is, is that 
DDD can also just use his big hammer and inhale to reflect. Mm -hmm. The real challenge of this matchup is dealing with trapping with Gordo. Absolutely. Because Mii Sword Fighter doesn't have the greatest aerial mobility or options in general in the air. Once he's in the air and trying to land, it's kind of hard for him. Mm, especially if he's trying to come down right on top of DDD. DDD up air is going to be down air. Uh, I'm not sure. That move's kind of... Kind of big. Yeah. yeah, DDD would want to be coming in from this side. Alright, back to Battlefield FD. Battlefield. Alright, this time we got the, the correct controls. And we've got Toad versus Guitar Lord. Uh, Guitar Lord down a stock. Uh, come back, not possible. And we get, hopefully, our actual last countdown for this. <laughs> Guitar Lord starts off with Tornado again, but doesn't get a follow-up. And that fair for me, Sword Fighter, just scoops from all directions. A lot bigger than it looks. <laughs> Guitar Lord thankfully before. getting hit by the weak hit of Horde Smash, otherwise that would have been his stock. Guitar Lord's getting trapped by Gordo right now. Up tilt off fair. Guitar Lord's now looking for some answer to um, just neutral in general. And that fair is going to take it. One stock left for U of B to take to close out this match against U of R. It's all on Guitar Lord's shoulders to make the three stock comeback now. Oh, Who spits the, uh... out the tornado, but just can't quite get the tornado up air of his own. Uh, but it... the thing about inhaling tornado is it's better for me, Sword Fighter. <laughs> but I don't think Guitar Lord was uh, ready, ready for that. it the first time. Because he hadn't been using inhale at all until then. And now he's going for inhale. Ooh, Jet Hammer. Oh, tornado, tornado up air, up air. Uh, Getting some nice damage on the second stock, but he's already so close to kill percent. Even ooh, if nice pivot grab. Even if he does close close out this stock, he needs to play stellar for this last stock. Forward air catching the uh, the parry. Oh, and well, that is going to be it. it. That's going to take it. UB closes it out with two stocks. Poor villain. 